Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Ariel, and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about nursing in general, nursing in 2022. Um, just like I said before, I am not a makeup artist, I have no degree in makeup, but I am a nurse, I wear scrub, and I carry stethoscope. That I do, that's what I do for a living. So, um, today I want to tell you guys about my career. Let's put it like that. Um, I've been a nurse for five, six years now, going to seven actually. I got my license back in 2015. And um, as of now, I think I kind of have like a, a pretty good idea of what I'm doing because I've done home care, I did skilled nursing, I did med surge, I've done the ICU, I did step down. Um, what else did I do? Did I say home care? Yes, I did that. Um, in general, so, well, I think I've been into, oh, and I've been in the ED too. And float pool, yes, I love it. So, um, what I want to tell you guys is, nursing is basically the umbrella of everything else. It's like a, a career on its own, that you can do anything that you want to do in so if you don't know what you want to do, uh, if you want to go to school, you're not sure what you want to do, I would say go for nursing. Uh, if you're trying to figure out what you're going to do next and uh, you still don't know if you're in high school or so ever can pick up a career, if you don't know what you want to do, go for nursing. Um, I would say nursing is, one of, is not the best career. But it is one of the best to be in. Um, and the number one reason is you will never be out of job. Never. Because there is always a need of it. Always a need of a nurse somewhere. And it gives you the option not just to be at bedside. You can be in office if you don't like to be at bedside. You don't like to see blood. Yes, you can still be a nurse. You don't have to do that. You can stay in the office and still make your coin, make your money, take care of people from your office. Um, if you like to travel, yes, nursing is for you. Uh, if you want to just help people, nursing is for you. There is a whole lot that you can do in nursing. You don't have to be there and like uh, pushing IV, giving medication. Uh, no, you don't have to do that. You don't want to see blood. Yes, you can still be a nurse and be in the office. You can be a nurse manager. You can be uh, a nurse educator. You like to teach. There you go. That is for you. If you don't know what you want to do, I would say the first option that I would pick is go to nursing. I never regretted making that decision and I still love it. And even though there are um, specialty that I go in and I'm like, um, mm, no, this is not what I want to do. But it is what it is. You don't like what you're doing. You have the option to change. You don't have to change your whole career to do it because you have a degree already. All you have to do is find what you want in there and go for it. Um, I think the, if you want to be a cook, uh, I'm not sure if you can take a nursing degree to do that, but let me leave it at that. Whatever you want to do and you're not sure of it, get into nursing and take it from there, that I will say. And the other thing that I want to say is nursing job does pay. Yes, uh, some of them are stressful depending on what you're looking for. If you can handle stress, yes, bedside nursing is for you. It depends on your own uh, ability of handling stress. If you cannot handle stress very well, well, don't go to the best I want. You can still find something else to do. It's still nursing. Yes, you still you have your degree. You can go for it. You don't have to carry stethoscope. You can still go for it. You want to wear high heel? Yes, you can still be a nurse and do that. Be in the office, a case manager, whatever it is, you can do that. Um, and uh, what I'm going to say is, right now in the middle of a pandemic and the best well the money making nursing is traveling and i'm gonna tell you all this that <sighs> i used to think that i cannot do it i'm not a traveling person number one i would say oh well i can't leave my family behind oh i can't stay away from my family yes i'm tied down i can't go that far i can't do this but yes girl you can still do it 
uh, do it yes you can do it you don't have to go that far far you don't have to go out of state you don't have to go out of the country you can still have those uh, local control as they call it and they still pay really good um, right now this is my third no 13 week on my first contract yes I'm a new travel nurse uh, and I nearly finished my current contract I only have two days left on that so this is the last week of it and I actually extend it and let me tell you for me being a nurse for almost six or seven years this is the best thing that I ever done for myself uh, maybe the pandemic did help a little bit but yes it does make a huge difference and just like I say you don't have to go too far from your house uh, depending on the contract that you got, some of them require 50 miles away, some of them require 100. So you have to look into it and figure out exactly um, which one works for you. And uh, as for me, I'll go stay three days, finish my days that I have to do and come right back. So I have four days back here that I can do whatever I want to do. That's how I have the time to come and play on YouTube, do all the makeup videos that I want to do have as much fun that I want to do because all I need to do is to clock in for three 12 hour shift a week and I'm telling you that when it comes to money making what I make right now is nearly what the hospital was trying to pay me for a month and that's what I make in a week um, a few months back I had to leave my well pay uh, leadership role because I'm like ah oh, this is way too stressful for me can't do this no more and I let it go but at the same time the money that I was making over there is um, it's quite reasonable I would say but for me to reach what I'm doing right now it's like uh, you have to work overtime and right now let me tell you me and overtime we are not related I've been there done it and at this point I do not need it because Working that extra shift is not required for me anymore. I can make that same money that I was making with overtime. I can make that same money working three days a week and I'm done and I don't have to do anything else. So yes, I am not going to do overtime OT, no. But at the same time, looking for the money per away, yes, you can do travel. I'm not going to give you guys numbers because I don't want to be rude or be, um, I'm not going to call it a show up. But at the same time, if you see the contract that they put out there, the money in there is huge. You just have to pick what you want. Just like I said, you don't have to go too far away from home. Scared of going away from home? Well, whatever is tying you down, try to figure it out. You can just go three days away and come right back and do whatever you want to do. You don't have to work over time. If you're still looking forward to doing nursing, look into travel. Yeah, traveling right now in 2022 is the best thing that you can do for yourself. Less stress and you still make the door. And guess what? Before I used to be, before um, to be a travel nurse, oh, you have to have a med surgery experience. You have to have ICU. You have to be ED. You have to have like one of those specialties experience, basically maybe a year or two, but at this point, it doesn't even matter because there is shortage already because of the pandemic. All you need is being a nurse, being in a field, and whatever you choose to do, be in there for at least a year or two, kind of carry some kind of experience. So even if you're a home health nurse, yes, you can still travel. If you're a skilled floor nurse, you can still do it. The facilities are getting short. Home health nursing is on the shortest. It's like, it doesn't even matter. All of them are looking for nurses so basically regardless which one you are yes you can still find your traveling assignment and go for it you don't have to be a ICU ED or med search nurse for you to be a traveler home health yes you can do it just find out wherever you want to go whatever the contract is and look into the details because some of them are very tricky let me put it like that and just pick your assignment and go and I think the fun part of traveling is it's fun. You don't have to stay at the same place 
There are even shorter contracts that you can go with. There are four weeks contracts. There are six weeks. There are eight weeks. There are 13. If you want it longer, you can go up to 26. That's up to you. You pick whatever you want. Like traveling gives you the flexibility, not just um, you doing what you want. But as you, are, you can pick a city that you want to go visit and go stay there, take an assignment, and enjoy the city for four weeks while you're having fun and working and making your money on top of that. Who doesn't want to do that? Have fun and make money. Yes, I do. So, it is fun. I think the traveling part of it is what I love most because I can just pick any city that I want to visit and go and go stay for four weeks, eight weeks, 13. If I love it, I will extend it before I come right back. Uh, if you don't want to go far, pick a local contract and sit, stay home, do what you got to do. The pay is different, but it's still worth it. Why not? Do the same work with my money. I want to do that. I don't know about you, but I think that's a good idea. Okay, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, please feel free to like the video, leave your comment. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscription button. Uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.